Hello everyone, it is Tom with the SS Motion here today, back with another Call of Duty Arctic themed review. So you're probably wondering why we've had two Arctic reviews in a row now, and this is really because it's January, it's quite cold here, and I kind of feel like it's appropriate to bring you guys some content that's relatable to that. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a really cool piece. This is set number 06879, Arctic Invasion, it's for ages 12 and up and it has 491 pieces. Now like with the snowmobile, this actually isn't a set which I was originally intending to buy. So I know what you guys are thinking, Tom, why do you have this set in front of us today? And well this is due to my very good friend at Megablocks, Tim. Uh, a lot of you guys will know Tim, he runs the Facebook page, he does so many awesome things in the community and he's just a really really great guy. And he actually sent this to me uh, in order to review it for you guys, which is really, really cool. And this is a set which I was quite excited about. Like, I saw it and I really liked the design for the Jeep, so I'm really excited to be able to get my hands on it and actually bring you guys a review. So thank you, Tim, it is really appreciated. And it's thanks to you that I'm able to get this content out, so I really do appreciate that, as I've said. Uh, okay, so moving on to the review. If we take a look at the figures, going from right to left, the first figure we have is a trooper in night vision goggles. Very cool. Black night vision goggles, grey kind of helmet setup, black tack vest and black leg strap. Got a burgundy colour uh, water canteen on there. A grey coloured suppressed SMG. And then white speckled camera effect all over the body and then we also have a very nice federation logo on the shoulder very similar to what we've seen I'll see if I can get that to focus I might be holding it a bit too close actually there we go very similar to what we saw in the astronauts in Odin this is very very nice I really like it and it adds a lot more character to the set so this mission is based, well this set, sorry, is based on the mission Clockwork in Call of Duty Ghosts where the ghost team eliminate guards at an outstation which could essentially be this structure back here they take them out and they take this jeep and go in undercover as Federation soldiers so it's really cool to actually see the Federation in this set the second soldier we have is Personally, my favourite, one of my favourite soldiers to date, actually. I really like the helmet setup with the vest, burgundy radio and ammo pouch, black leg strap with a black ammo pouch, black leg strap with a silver knife and painted black boots. This guy here does have painted black shoes, which is very nice. A silver M4 carbine, as you guys know, I absolutely love the M4. I can't get my hands on enough of it. And again, a very nice painted Federation logo. And we also have a burgundy pouch on this guy's back, which is really cool. Now, it should be noticed, noted that a lot of the burgundy accessories in this set are accessories which I've put on the figures where I've wanted them. So there really is no place to actually display them. You're not told where to display them, so I've kind of just done it as I wanted, which is quite cool. We then have the third figure in this set. Again, another very nice figure. We have a black style thermal underneath with a white scout vest, white helmet with black goggles set up, grey leg strap and various nice details on him. We've got a silver concussion grenade on the vest and a burgundy flashlight there. And we actually get a black sniper rifle here and it's nice to just get the sniper rifle in black. I do like the sniper rifle mold a lot. So there you go, that's him. And he's wearing the Kama, so you don't actually get a tack belt with him. Same with this guy here who is also wearing the Kama. So if we move these guys out of the way, we're now going to take a look at the small outbuilding, which is basically this from the front. You can see a nice CCTV camera, some nice radar dishes, some nice texture work put in. They put in a couple of different colour blocks to add some nice paint work. A wooden step on the side, and then this nice effect with the fence collapsing and the barbed wire kind of wrapped around it, which does look really cool. Now if we twist it around, we don't really have too much interior space. We have a nice little platform here 
with a burgundy claymore and a burgundy pair of binoculars on this weapons rack, which adds for some nice interior space. But this is really intended as just a small piece to set in the background of your scene to really bring it to life. And that is what I absolutely love with the Call of Duty line. We do get structure. It's not necessarily the biggest structure, but it kind of adds a lot more character to the sets that we get, and it's just a really, really nice addition. So that is the small outbuilding. I'll give you another look from the front quickly. And there you have it. So that is a very nice small structure. Now if we move on to the Jeep, I wouldn't know what model Jeep this is, but it is very accurate to the in-game counterpart as far as I can remember. We have nice Federation logos on the doors. We have something really cool. Uh, we have mirrors with actual silver paint inside them. We have... Oh, I just nudged the camera there. We have some lights on the front and a license plate, which is very nice, as well as a grill behind there. Nice details on the hood, a lot of slope pieces used to create some texture. We have a burgundy shovel here. A spare wheel on the back door, which is very cool, and that actually does spin on that mount, as well as lighting. A jerry can on this side. Steps on both sides to get in. And then a roll cage on the top with lights on the side and lights facing forward. And in terms of accessibility, this is a very cool model. We can actually... That has not done that properly. If you give me a second to click it all in. This is a bit of a pain sometimes, but we can actually open up the back here, which is a really nice feature. It's something which I didn't think they'd thrown, but they did. And it's really, really accurate to the in-game vehicle and the real-life vehicles. So that's something that I really like. We actually have a rotating turret back here, which isn't present in-game, but it adds some nice detail to it, and it's easily removable, which is nice. We then get the driver's area here with a working joystick, as you can see there. A moving steering wheel. And then one very nice detail is we actually have a fold-up little area here where you can store weapons in when the drivers are... Uh, sat behind the wheel, so that's really cool, and that actually fits uh, the M4 quite nicely, which is quite cool. And it just folds back down, it doesn't click onto anything, but it just feels very secure, and that's quite nice. As well as that, we do have the windscreen, uh, the mirrors, sorry, which can be rotated. We have a nice antenna here, and the doors also open, which is very nice. So I am a massive fan of this truck. I think it's very nicely designed. The roll cage especially, it uses a lot of smaller pieces to make this really nice design. And I kind of hope that we get it in a black and grey colour as an SAS set. I think it would be really nice in that kind of colour scheme. And I think it's a phenomenal model. I think Megablocks have done really well in capturing the look of the van, which is really, really nice. So as we set these figures back up for you quickly, we'll do it in kind of a fight scene to make it interesting i will give you my final thoughts on the set overall i think it's a really nice set as i believe i said it retails for about 50 pound here in the uk so that is a fair bit of money but considering the phenomenal design on the jeep i would say it's worth it in the end you get a lot of nice features you get some official bad guys which is really cool it's not too often we actually see officially named bad guys in the lines so that's nice and you get some pretty cool accessories, and the terrain piece is nice, and as well as that, if you wanted, you could probably easily move the terrain piece onto uh, some jungle base plates or something else, so you do have a lot of versatility with this set, and you do have a lot of different options presented to you for it, so overall, I do really like this set, I think it's really good, I really appreciate you sending it over, Tim, and I would definitely recommend this one, I mean... I've never really been a fan of Arctic stuff, but having received this, I am pleasantly surprised, and I'm really, really impressed with the level of detail that's gone into it. So this has been another review with me, Tom, here on the SS Motion. I am hoping that in the next few weeks I'll be able to find some of the spring Call of Duty stuff for you guys. Uh, the UK tends to get it a few weeks later than the US, so if you're watching in the US, you might have found it already. Sadly, I can't really find anything at the moment but the second I find it I'll make sure to hopefully pick it up and I'll bring you guys my reviews and thoughts on it as and when I get it so apart from that that's it guys I hope that you guys have a great week and this is Tom from the SS Motion signing off